on deck. Ship is now on dock. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. Hey, what's going on? We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobons would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet, and that takes years to get here. A lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man, and I'm worried. Oh, 
Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? When you're orbiting a planet, your ship's scanners can pick up all sorts of information. Signs of life, resources, structures where they shouldn't be. It all gets downloaded into data you can hand over to anyone who's interested. And Constellation is always more interested than most. Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now, get out there and burn some helium. Usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? I have something I need to discuss with you. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. 
After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was. Nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protégé and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I... miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. But oh, don't worry, there's no bad blood between us. The worst that might happen is you get stuck listening to two old friends catching up on old times. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go.
Where to next? All ears.
This reminds me of a book I read as a child. It was about an expedition to the center of the Earth. One of my favorites. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. I am fine. He was clumsy. Made far too much noise. Easy to deal with. You have not answered my question. Who are you? You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Once again, we are triumphant. What does your scanner reveal?
Best not to leave anything useful behind. Big mistake. Ah! Damn, I was just getting warmed up.
too much on? Literally. Want to see what I'm carrying? So long. This should be a more than adequate return for our efforts.
You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless, Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> ...risk. We both seem to be... ...unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... ...the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... ...Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So... In this, I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. my own way back. Go on without me. Word and we'll get underway. to shoot the breeze? Hey. Glad to haul whatever you need. Okay. 
Hmm? Do you need something? You've got something for me? Have something for me? Goodbye. Anything on your scanner?
mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be an all-day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Was not necessary. We succeeded. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Got your king loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. 
This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot's journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Here, I have something for you. Yes, well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Of course, we are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Yes? All right, then. I'm up for a little adventure.
laser scanner reveal.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us. Are you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. Security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. Still getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. Some kind of test? Were the artifacts meant to lead us there? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it?
Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten... ...all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway... Catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss.